Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, day or night. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my first lower body maintenance video. I'm gonna be doing many series of. We're first gonna start off with band foot curls. So you're gonna be tying it around a bit and pull on one of the tags when you bring it around through the hole. Make sure it's tight to the pole. And then when you're doing this, make sure you have tension. Put it on the top of your foot, like right in the middle. Scoop back. Make sure you have that constant tension. And put your foot right next to the other one that's not banded. Let it go forward and then squeeze. And pretend you're squeezing it together so you know what the full extension is and that you're not too tensed up with the band. If it's too tense and you're not getting that full squeeze on the top, go with a lighter band. That's easier resistance. And squeeze. So make sure when both feet are together, they're moving together, same sequence and squeezing. And making sure that they're both even and that the band is not too heavy to the point where you're not getting that full stretch. So when you're transitioning to the other foot, grab it from where it was and make sure it's in the middle of the other foot and that's in the middle and that there's a straight line and you're not curved inside with different resistance. You want your legs to be even. So you're gonna scoop back again for the full resistance, squeeze and mimic the same foot together and squeeze all the way to the top. And if you look at your legs and you move forward and squeeze, you see it completely tense up for the front calf muscles. And I tend to go with a three sets of 12 for this maintenance exercise for the lower body. Let it go forward, same time, squeeze. Same time, squeeze. The next maintenance video for the lower body I'm gonna be showing you is single leg calf raises. You're gonna put your hands shoulder width apart, elbows sort of bent. Make sure you're in an upright position. Pick up the leg right next to it in front. Adjust yourself so you're in the middle. And calf, calf raise up. Make sure you're getting that full extension. And come down slow and controlled. Come up. And make sure that you're going straight forward with it and up through your own hips and going up to the ceiling. Focus on that control coming down. Squeeze all the way up to the ceiling. Go in the, try to keep your foot balanced and not going side to side anywhere. Just go straight forward and controlled. With your big toe and in the middle of your foot. Make sure you're in the middle and using your big toe to squeeze up. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. Same concept. Make sure you're centered foot right in front of it, raise it up. Make sure you're in the inside foot raising and not on the outside or too far inside. Just make sure you're balanced or make sure you're going up through your own groin and head. Go straight up and down and not forwards. Just straight up and down. The single leg calf raises. I would also suggest going three sets of 12 for this exercise for each foot. Next maintenance exercise I'm gonna be showing you is ankle rotations. So you're gonna be going, try to really plant your foot down and move with your ankles and calf clockwise 10 times. And be slow and controlled until you get a good concept of where to move it and plant that foot down in a plantar flexion position. Pretty much just planting like you're almost about to sprint or exploding off your feet. And then after 10, switch to the other side and do counterclockwise. Rotate it and really focus on the ankle and the calf. Switch to the other side, same concepts as before. Clockwise, start off. The next maintenance lower body exercise I'm gonna be showing you is 
shallow standing knee bends. In this exercise, you're going to be putting your hands on a chair or a counter and getting your legs shoulder width apart. And you're going to be sitting down, but six inches down to the bottom. And make sure your knees are not in front of your toes. You're going to sit down and then come back up standing slowly and controlled. Six inches and then come back up. Make sure you're upright position, chest up. Sit down six inches and then come back up. So I'm controlled. Make sure you're coming down controlled. Externally rotate your quads and sit down six inches. Come back up. Come back up. Another thing you should be looking out for on the shallow squats is that, you, is that your heels should not be coming up when you're squatting down six inches. Come back up slow and controlled. Don't go so fast. Just get the mind-body connection with your body. Six inches, heels down, actually rotating, putting the pressure in your glutes, coming up. Actually rotating and come up slow and controlled. Intensity up your quads when you're all the way. Now I'm gonna be showing you leg extensions on a chair. You're gonna be sitting on the chair, upright position. And then when you begin, you're gonna lift up your right leg straight up until the quad is fully tense. And then you're gonna bring it down slow and controlled. Make sure everything's aligned and straight. Extend again and coordinate the quad slowly coming down and centered. Extend. And do this for about 10 to 15 reps for three sets. Now I'm gonna be showing you on the other leg. Same thing, quad fully tense, coming down slow and controlled in the middle. Extend. And look at your leg, make sure everything's being activated in the right time. And coordinate in the middle. Squeeze, slow and control. Squeeze, 